Aaron Welcome Yost. back. We have seen some significant changes to the weather here in central Montana compared to 24 hours ago. We've got a very strong Canadian cold front that has tracked right through the Treasure State, bringing with it obviously some precipitation, but lowering snow levels too. And we are in for a treat, I guess, if you didn't want to quite let go of winter weather just yet. We will see just that here rolling into the rest of the evening and overnight hours. So you can see kind of the uh, overall impact we are feeling across the northern Rockies and the high plains moving a little bit closer. You can see that switchover happened a lot earlier today up along the high line now happening through the Great Falls area and eventually here going to get down to the Helena area as well. But that cold front has again already moved through so you can see that precipitation type changing there as you see the radar loop changing from the greens over to the blues indicating that switchover from rain to snow. Uh, so again, if you haven't done that just yet or you haven't even gotten a whole lot of precipitation just yet, it's definitely on its way. This system uh, impacting the region right through at least the first part of the day tomorrow. Of course, we are getting some travel difficulties here and there. Take a look at the Browning ICAM. That was just a short while ago. Rogers Pass seeing some flakes flying as well. And uh, things will get a little bit dicier as we head to the overnight hours. The sun starts to set and things start to get a little bit icy on the roadways. Not only are we seeing some travel impacts, some travel difficulty, but also a lot of stress to the newborn livestock with this system. Winter weather advice advisories in place across the viewing area right into at least tomorrow morning. Generally, we're looking at an inch to five inches of snow, depending on where you're located. I think the biggest impacts are going to be to Fergus, Judith Basin, Cascade and Lewis and Clark counties. Right now in Helena, we're at about 56 degrees. Those clouds have really started to thicken up here in the last hour or so. Uh, Great Falls, again, flakes flying there on the ICAM, 34 degrees. We dropped from 47 to 36 in about a half an hour earlier this afternoon afternoon with those winds out of the north gusting at 37 miles per hour and that was right when the front moved through. So take a look at the 24 hour temperature change. This means it's 36 degrees colder right now in Haver compared to exactly 24 hours ago. Winds out of the north at a good clip. And of course you have to factor in the gusts and we are seeing things a bit gusty out there across the Treasure State with the passage of this front. We do have a lake wind advisory for Fort Peck Lake for the rest of the evening as well. So tonight we're gonna be dropping into the 20s. So we will be dealing with some snow again for most of our lower elevations, definitely in the higher terrain across the region as this system and cold front track on down to the south southeast heading into the day tomorrow. We will definitely see some residual moisture out there, uh, but you're really going to feel like it's maybe towards the end of winter with those temperatures only topping out in the mid to upper 30s. It is going to be a very cold day. Uh, we should see some sun peaks by the second half of the day. Now heading into Tuesday, very, very slight chance of an isolated shower, snow shower at that. But really, we're going to start to see those clouds breaking up nicely on Tuesday. Still going to be a little on the chilly side, but we'll rebound to average for this time of year by Wednesday. And along with that, we will see quite a bit of sunshine. So look for 42 on Tuesday, Great Falls 57 and sunny on Wednesday. Right now, there is some indication that the second half of this week, we could be dealing with another weaker system tracking through the region, but that could bring some active weather back to the forecast for us during that time frame.